Hello, in this video I'll explain a few basic ways to connect clauses in English. Here are two clauses. How can we put them together? If we try to put them next to each other with no punctuation at all, that's considered a run-on sentence. That's bad. If we just put a comma between them, that's considered a comma splice. That's also bad. So one option is to use a conjunction, like AND. If we do that, we need to put a comma before. Other common conjunctions are SO and BUT. In this sentence, probably SO makes the most sense. Another totally legal way to connect two clauses is just to add a semicolon. The semicolon by itself has the power to connect two clauses. When using a semicolon, it's common to also add an adverb. In this case, I'm adding therefore to the sentence. After the adverb, it's common to put a comma. Adverbs like therefore don't change the structure of the sentence, they just add some extra meaning. Then is a different adverb. However is also an adverb. But the sentence is fine with no adverb. Another way to connect these two clauses is to use a word like because. Because attaches to one clause, which you can then connect to the main clause. When you use because, First, in a sentence, you need to put a comma after that first clause. However, when the main clause appears first, and because in the middle, no comma is used. These days in linguistics, because is considered a preposition. There are lots of prepositions that go in front of clauses like because, although, after, if, and so on. And in general, when they come first, you'll see a comma after the first clause. And when they come second, you won't see a comma. That's not true all the time and for all the prepositions, uh, but it's very commonly used this way. Okay, let's just review by looking at two different clauses. I studied and I watched TV. What are three ways we connect these clauses? One way is through a conjunction, like and, but, or so, and probably best here. A second way is through a semicolon. Optionally, if you wanted to add an adverb after the semicolon, you could do it this way. And finally, we could use a preposition such as after that could attach to one clause. And if that clause comes first, we would use a comma. If the clause that after attaches to comes second, we would use no comma. All right, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.